tell you a little bit about some of my packages and then I'm going to quickly show you through some of my work. So, this is one of my flyers which has got my packages on there. So we do two main packages, we have a half day and a full day photography. We have a pre-wedding shoot included in both of those that can either be on a location of your choice or at your venue as well. You get all your edited images on a private online gallery and a USB too. So that's from your pre-wedding shoot and your wedding day itself. And then if you want an album, we can pop an album on there for you. And we can talk about that when we have a chat. So prices start from 995 and we've got a couple of offers happening at the moment. So we have 30% discount for all key workers. And we also have a wedding fair discount today that's going to run until the end of July and that is 25% off for anybody that gets in touch before the end of July. So if you do want to take me up on that, let me know. You can get in touch at my website or through my email address which is charlotte at charlotte-elizabeth.com as well. Right, I'm just going to quickly show you some of the work that we do. So for a full day of photography, we start off with all your getting ready pictures, capture all the details as well as the things that go on during the morning, your hair and your makeup, things like that. Then we go on to your details. So I like to get rings, flowers and any little bits. So this bride made this porcelain heart herself to go around the bottom of the bouquet, which was particularly pretty. Arriving at your venue is always an emotional moment. So we have bridesmaids helping sort out the veil and the dress, walking into your ceremony room, and then your ceremony itself. I like to stand at the front where I can during your wedding ceremony so that we can get all those emotions that you have. Then we go on to your group pictures. So I'd like to get all your group pictures done as soon as possible so that you can all go on and enjoy your day because really you want to be with your guests, with your family, with your friends, celebrating and not with your photographer all day. There we go. So I tend to go for the more natural documentary style photography which just captures all the emotions rather than more posed shots. Always like to make use of your venue, so if it's somewhere that I've not been before, I will always visit before your wedding day. We can either do that on your pre-wedding session, or we can do that separately, and I'll just go and have a, have a recce myself, whatever you guys want to do. So a couple of questions that I get asked a lot is when is the best time to book? There's no right answer to that. Basically, I do one wedding a day. So currently, if you're getting married in 2024, I'm free all year. If you're getting married 21, 22, 23, I have got some bookings in right up until 2023. So as soon as you know that you want a supplier, whether that's a photographer, cakes, venue styling, whatever that is, get in touch with them and get your date secured. You don't want to be missing out on your favorite suppliers. We do have a question there. Uh, okay. Do you provide any canvas prints, Charlotte? If you want canvas prints, that's something I can get for you. Yep, I've not got anything to show today. Um, but there is um, some examples of that. If you want to get in touch with me directly, I'm happy to send you um, some samples of the canvases that I do. When the studio's back open again, I do have some actually on the walls in the studio. So if you did want to look at them properly, you'd be welcome to come on in and have a look at those. So your USB and your online gallery, you can download all your images from your private online gallery and your USB comes um, in a little box, it's all fully personalised and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with those pictures, so there's no licences or anything like that that you need to worry about. If you want to print them you can, if you want to send them to family, friends, put them online, they are your images of your day and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with them. I always deliver any images that are deliverable and what I mean by that is if people have got their eyes closed or if I've messed up on my settings and it's a completely black screen, I'm not going to give you those but other than that you'll get every single picture so for a full day you can end up with 
thousands of pictures, depending on um, how long we're there for. Do you keep an, a spare uh, a backup of the USB? Yes. So I will always keep a complete copy of all your images for at least two years after your wedding date. If you want to get in touch in that time, then that's absolutely fine. I will definitely have every picture of yours for up to two years. I try and keep them longer than that, but I can't guarantee it after that two year date. So if you ever want to get in touch 10 years down the line even, the likeliness is that I'll have them, but it's guaranteed for two. That's fantastic, Charlotte. Some amazing images there, and a really a different way of, uh, of displaying the stand as well. A really nice, a really nice presentation. Is that? I'm just going to do a quick, uh, a quick shot of these pictures here. Very nice. That certainly looked like a fun wedding. Lots of alcohol. Oh, so the this is quite a funny one. Let me grab the side by side of that. The late, the bridesmaids wanted to capture the bride and pick her up, and did. The groom then was jealous, so usually it's the men that do it first, but the groom actually had to get all his friends around to get him picked up as well, because he wanted that moment. That's fantastic. A good fun day. Yeah, absolutely. These guys had a fire pit during the evening as well, so it was such a lovely evening. They chose to go all out and have a fire pit roasting marshmallows rather than go for the full disco. So the DJ inside actually changed the music slightly, so it was a bit more of a garden party feel. Um, and everyone just sat outside, toasting marshmallows, and then various other things as the evening went on, but we'll not get too far into that, I don't think. <laughs> it was the marshmallows I was mostly interested in. Oh, fantastic. Charlotte, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Guys, if you've got any more questions for Charlotte, please do uh, pop them in the comments section. I know the, uh, Charlotte, as well as all the other suppliers today, are going to be um, floating around in the comments section. Charlotte, thank you so much. Give us a big wave. If I could sort this camera out, it's having a moment. <laughs> thank you, Charlotte. Thank you so much. So, uh, so yeah, I've taken my mask off.